Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. My name is Zai and I welcome you to the series of Simple Indian Cooking. The recipe which I'm going to show today is a very popular Maharashtrian snack which is called as Kothimbir Vadi. Kothimbir is nothing but coriander. These are nice crisp deep fried dumplings of coriander and gram flour. So let's start with the procedure. So to begin with the recipe, I'm going to transfer the gram flour in a bowl. I'm adding some water to this. And whisk well to make it into a batter. Okay, so our batter is now ready. I'm just going to set this aside. And let's start with the cooking of the batter. So for the mixture, I'm going to heat some oil in a non-stick pan. In this recipe, I'm going to show you how to make the cooked mixture for the Kothimbir Badi. But alternatively, what you can do is, whatever ingredients we are using today, you can mix all of them together in a bowl, add some water to it, steam it, cut it into squares and deep fry. The oil is hot, add some mustard seeds, add the asafoetida or hing. I'm going to add some ginger and garlic paste and give it a mix. Saute on medium heat till the raw flavor of the ginger and garlic is gone. Now once the ginger and garlic is nicely sauteed, add the chopped coriander and give it a mix. Now to this, I'm going to add some roasted and crushed peanuts, a few powdered spices, red chilli powder, turmeric powder and some salt. Give it a mix. Now to this, I'm going to add the gram flour batter. Mix well. So after you mix well, you have to cook this mixture till it becomes thick and starts to leave the side of the pan. Okay, as you can see, the mixture is all come together. It is nice and cooked. I'm going to switch off the heat. And now we have to spread the mixture on a thali. Apply a little oil so that the mixture doesn't stick to the thali. Transfer the mixture on the thali. And just spread it evenly. Apply some oil on your palms and just spread the mixture evenly. You have spread the mixture nicely on the plate. You have to set this aside to cool for 10 to 15 minutes after which we will cut it and deep fry. Okay, our Kothimir Vadi mixture is now cooled down to the room temperature. We are going to cut it into squares. You can even cut them into diamonds. Once you are done with the cutting of the Kothimir Vadis, just take out one piece on a plate and loosen the edges so that they come out easily on the plate. So we have cut all the Kothimir Vadis. Our oil is nice and hot. Let's slide the Kothimir Vadis in hot oil and deep fry them till they are nice and crisp. Kothimir vadis are fried to a nice golden brown color. Let's take them out on an absorbent paper so that whatever excess oil is there will all get drained off. Nice and crunchy Kothimir vadis are ready. A very simple recipe. Do try it. If you like our videos, do subscribe to our channel. Stay connected. Happy cooking.